So the prince wasn't too disappointed? She didn't express her gratitude at any rate. With you, she must not be used to failure. The others were pretty surprised, in fact. Were they? Some of them think you're not as motivated as you used to be. They think you're tired. They're wrong, aren't they? Doubting me should not become a habit, Fang. I shouldn't have to reassure you. Unfortunately, I'm not the one who needs to be reassured. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think that this setback will be an issue for our plans mm, to... A favor from the prince wouldn't have hurt. But it's not the be-all, end-all in determining your fate. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Errol Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you, what caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. I'm not one to beat around the bush, especially on a matter like this. So either be frank with me, or be silent. Then let's not talk about it. Stay away from Beryl. Avoid him like the plague. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fang, I'm going to have a word with him. Oh? To Beryl? Why? I trust you, but I don't trust him. I asked you not to go near him. Apparently, I didn't make myself clear enough. I thought the prince was gonna call for you any minute now. I'm sure I'll have enough time to clear the air with him first, once and for all. While you're waiting, stay put. As you wish. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. Any news here? Everyone is stressed out. I've never seen anything like it. They're all talking in hushed voices. They barely dare to look at each other. Huh. People and their moods. I'm not interested in that. I saw them take one of Jason Moore's bodyguards below. To question him, I imagine. That could be of interest to you. Say, how are things with the girl? Excuse me? It's Zhu Feng, right? She's not a girl. Things going okay? Yes, things are fine. She seems worried. Don't worry about her. Do you think you'll embrace her soon? As soon as possible. 
once the prince gives me permission. You met Fang at MIT, didn't you? Yes, I went to see her. How did that go? I told her I was the CEO of a company that wanted to take sustainability seriously. Smart. She didn't reject the idea. She took it as a challenge. I liked that about her. She did everything she could to bring about a real change in me. She would be an incredible asset for the kindred. I've never embraced anyone. How come? The story of my life, and my unlife. I have no progeny, mortal or otherwise. By choice? Yes, and no. When things weren't so strict, I could have asked, but I didn't have anyone in mind. Not like you and Fang. Now it's too late, as I've clearly been made to understand. Maybe you'll get another chance. Oh, you mean that after the SI is done with us, our overpopulation problem will be solved? I didn't mean it like that. But still, be that as it may, I hope the Prince will allow you to do it. I don't know. I hope last night isn't weighing on you too heavily. I'm all right. The Prince won't base her decision on just that. You've already proven your worth, Mr. Bazori. We'll see about that. I'd better be going. See you. Do you ever think about your life before all this? I didn't have a life before this. Got it? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, but I need to take a break. My favorite part is the thrill of the approach just before the bite. My blood is excellent. Blue bloods never choose me. Message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Caius or speak with Beryl.
There's no point in hanging around here bothering me. It's gonna take me a while. Very well, Mr. Sheridan. Please excuse me. I'm gonna go get a drink soon. We're waiting for Mr. Leto's signal. Until then, if you have any questions, save them. Got it? No problem. Great. Weren't you the one who was doing surveillance on the Roxbury bunch? No, doesn't ring a bell. You all look alike. This is the first time we've worked together. I'm big on discipline. No problem. Have you talked to Mr. Leto yet? I want to report on his activities pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh, there you are. Follow me, please. We'll speak in private. You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Something's come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Is that a problem? Could be a major one. Not a lot of people can do that, you know. Who could have done that? That's precisely the question I want you to answer. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. I don't know. Jara has most likely been destroyed by now. Do you have any evidence supporting what you're suggesting? Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it Quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. 
One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to, to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish. Looks like everything is in order. Dijon wanted to warn us about the Hartford Chantry's favorite rituals. He doesn't trust Deneb Osborne. A list of ingredients and side effects. We're going to wipe this server soon. Now's not the time for mistakes. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. I heard you were doing business with him. It's something to do with the Rosemond Society, my foundation. Why? Now is not the time to be hiding things, given the circumstances. If the prince were to hear about shady business dealings, heads would roll. She wouldn't take someone's head over so little. We're taking advantage of a springboard for young artists in order to improve our profits. In other words, you're rigging a competition to make money. Bravo. You know how to read between the lines. I call it like I see it. Coming from you. All I can tell you is that Beryl's really the one who is in charge of it. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I'm planning to make up for it with Fang. Oh, so that's why you've become attached to that girl. 
I'm not attached to her. She's an asset for the Camarilla, and a necessary balance to temper Beryl's wicked games. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time, otherwise they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it, that's all. I give Mem just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who'll be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, excuse me, I have to go. Of course. Let's see if Caius was right. That should take less than a minute. Joy. 
has always been wary of new technology. will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. Hello, Mr. Vizorin. Mr. Lido asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. Hmm. Jara was onto something before she disappeared. There's something very worrying about that. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. Sorry, Mr. Bazori. Miss Drory's quarters are off limits. What's going on here? Mr. Leto's orders. We've got to clean up. You do know it's risky to come in here like that, don't you? You've got nothing to fear. This is the prince's house. Don't be stupid. You know very well the minute your back is turned, anyone can come poking around here. If you take me for a thief, you're sadly mistaken. No, you're here for a courtesy visit. It's to your credit. I was thinking of snoops who are able to disguise themselves. I see. What brings you here? I thought things between you and the Prince had gotten better. She stopped treating me like a goddamn traitor. That's a start. And given the situation, we really need to hit pause on all our internal disputes. Don't you think? Any idea what we should do now? The most urgent priority is to make sure we are safe. We're working on it. Obviously. Then we can think about long-term solutions. We might need to go into exile for a while. I'm fighting to hold our ground, and you're talking about fleeing? I thought about running, but not anymore. I'm talking about a last resort. A tactical retreat, if you like. Are you seriously ready to abandon us? I'm not proud of it. But yeah. Well, I'll leave you to your business, then. If you see the Prince, reassure her that my loyalty is intact. She'll judge you by your actions, as will we all. Goodbye, Caleb. <sighs> what a 
nightmare. It's chaos here. It's locked from the inside. Mr. Bazori, your child left a few minutes ago. Locked? Beryl must be out. I'll have to talk to him another time. Caleb, you don't come here often. Sorry, things are a little hectic here, as you can see. What's going on? Code Red. We're destroying all of our files, following protocol. Did you ask for a few hands? Yeah. I keep asking them to send me a couple more people. Even kind would be useful. But apparently there are fires everywhere and it's taking forever. It's a huge undertaking. And of course, Hazel's putting major pressure on me. She's normally a little high-strung, but you can imagine how much worse it's become. It's her job. She's trying to keep us from going down with the ship, no matter the cost. I agree. And you know how much I love Hazel. But it's starting to get hard to manage. My efficiency might be the stuff of legend. But even I make mistakes. How about you? Is everything all right? After last night, who could say that? I mean, you know, your condition. My condition? You know, you're the eldest among us now. Are you worried about me, or the void I'll leave behind? You're an essential asset for the Camarilla. You disappearing now would be one of the worst possible things that can happen to us. It's true that reliability is a virtue in decline. Don't leave us. That's all. For Hazel's sake. I've got my own reasons to stay. I was wondering, what is it like? Do you hear voices? Does it come at you all at once? It's more like a feeling. A light one at first. Then it grows. And grows. Until it becomes unbearable. It doesn't look so unbearable for you. I'm hanging on. But you shouldn't worry about it. You're still very young. Listen to us. Talking about growing old, like mortals do. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the second Inquisition attack. You're the only person here who doesn't seem phased by it. London seemed so far away. Now they're here. They're destroying the people we know. I really need to get back to work. Good luck.
If only Hazel would listen to me. Mr. Bazori. Please, April is really tense. Where is Feng? Is there a problem, Mr. Bazori? Feng, did you see her leave? No. Uh, sorry, I, I had to step out for a few minutes. When I got back, she was gone. I asked her to wait for me. I'll keep an eye on your friend. The prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. 
someone who was extremely well prepared. Do you think the Anarchs could have done it? Don't be ridiculous. It's not like them. And they'd never be able to hit us this hard. Then who? It's one of our own. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. I always thought that island was abandoned. We all did. We were wrong. <sighs> How is it we didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources. And we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. <sighs> Sending me there. That seems to be a rather bold choice. I don't see anyone better for the job. Infiltration isn't really my specialty. You'll be dealing with Kine. You'll be a fox in a hen house. I'm not worried about you. And Delson knows how to get you in. Oh, that changes everything. They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people to avoid any other unpleasant surprises. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Vizori. What do we know about this Stanford? 
Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. <laughs>